The Tiny Tales from Abu presented in Diaper News episode 18 has been released. I took a closer look at it and tried it out in everyday life. It's been a while since Abu launched a new diaper on the market. Recently, there was a bad mood in the company because half of the employees had been made redundant. According to the management, this was necessary in order to survive economically. The employees see it differently. I recently summarized everything we know about this in Diaper News episode 21. This is about the tiny tails. Even the packaging is colorful and relatively opaque, as has been the trend recently. The contents are only slightly visible. 10 pieces are included. I have size M again for a circumference of 79 to 91 centimeters. There is good news for the very slim and smaller among you. It is even offered in size small. This is now rare. Some new diapers are limited to M, L and XL. Sometimes even XL is dropped. When you pick up the diaper and unfold it, you notice that it is quite thick. That surprised me. I would consider the ones from my previous Abu tests to be of medium thickness. You can feel them clearly and they can withstand a lot, but they don't come close to a little rascals or critter caboose. With the tiny tails it's different, it feels on a similar level. Inside there is a thick absorbent pad and the high leakage protection that is standard with ABDL diapers these days. So there is plenty of room for pads here too. As you can already guess from the packaging, the diaper is quite colorful. A rainbow runs along the sides of the entire diaper, with colorful stripes at the top ends. The outside is completely printed with cuddly toys, which are of course all wrapped up as well. There are also balloons, with even more towards the sides in front of a sky. High contrast colors are reminiscent of the high quality of other diapers such as the aforementioned critter caboose from Rears. The yellow vertical stripe is striking, it is a wetness indicator that changes color as soon as you put larger amounts in. This is rare for ABDL diapers, there are only a handful that have one. At Abu, for example, the little paws. It has lots of paws printed on it, which become paler and disappear when the diaper gets wet. The scale shows an impressive 247 grams, making it one of the thickest diapers currently on the market. In the practical test, it weighed 2.2 kilos, which is also a good result in the upper range compared to other diapers tested. The manufacturer has improved significantly here, as some of the other diapers in the portfolio only managed to reach a range of around 1.5 kg to 1.8 kg in the practical test. The empty weight and therefore the thickness were also lower. I bought them in Abu's own EU store, as they were only sold exclusively there at the market launch. A pack of 10 costs €36.95, so we are at a unit price of €3.70 per diaper, which is also in the upper range when you consider the entire ABDL market. A critter caboose, for example, is only slightly thinner, but only costs €2.74 per diaper, which is almost €1 Euro less. In relation to a slightly thicker diaper, this surcharge alone does not seem justified. In addition to my order, I had to pay €8.95 shipping costs to Germany. Unfortunately, the diaper is not yet available in any independent store where it might be offered a little cheaper. The only way to save would be to buy at least 4 packs, then there is a 12.5% discount in the Abu EU store. With 4 packs, the pack price drops to €32.34 and a single diaper costs €3.22 instead of €3.70 a saving of £0.48 cents each. This reduces the gap to the competition, but it is still not the cheapest thick diaper. However, I still think that Abu is on the right track. Several diapers are so expensive that the price is not in proportion to what they offer. This is precisely my biggest criticism. If the price is high or even increases significantly, the product must also improve, which has not happened so far. The extreme example is the peak Abu, which has now also been slightly reduced to €3.30 per piece. It is significantly less durable than the tiny tails and is only partially printed. Until recently, the Little Kings cost just under €4 Euros per diaper with a lower absorbency. It also has cotton, which many people don't like. The price of the tiny tails has only dropped slightly and is still in the upper range. In return, you get the thickest diaper currently on the market, which should be of interest to many of you who like to be thickly wrapped. It is completely printed in high quality, resealable and I didn't notice anything negative in terms of wearing comfort during the test. It has a relatively thick, pleasant foil that looks high quality and shouldn't tear easily, which never happened during my test. 
In addition, the Tiny Tails was produced using modern position printing, which allows for more elaborate motifs instead of just simple repetitions. As it is still quite new, this should also have an impact on the price. The diaper itself convinced me. Due to the price, I won't be wearing it all the time in everyday life. For the occasional use as a special diaper, the performance offered is now suitable, which in my opinion was no longer the case with other diapers. Abu seems to have realized that they need to change their pricing strategy in order to avoid losing even more customers. On the one hand, it's a shame that it obviously had to come to this point for Abu to change course. On the other hand, I think it's good that things now seem to be getting better and that diapers from this company are becoming more attractive again. I actually like them because they are very committed to the ABDL community by supporting various events. Now I would like to know what you think about Tiny Tales, please write it in the comments. Stay dry, until the next video.